this piece. This is the famous Asturias. And I tell you in a second why it's so dangerous to play. Well, most likely, at least once in your harpist life, you had some problems here or there. That means that you do wrong movements. There is something wrong in your harp playing. It happened to me exactly when I was playing Asturias. Because at the beginning, it's fine. It's okay. But then, when it gets with the octaves... really wrecked my hand. You can see that my elbow is too low and doing this with force for a long time with the elbow so low really caused me a big problem here. Last year I was judging a competition. I saw a girl having her elbow really low and I asked her in the comments afterwards, are you sore in your arm? And she said, yeah, yeah, sometimes. And I said, raise that elbow. It's going to really help. It doesn't have to be tense. Like you don't have to have here tension, but be as neutral as possible and definitely not low because learn from my experience, this will definitely bring injuries. So my tips are, first of all, don't play this kind of pieces. But secondly, if you have to, then adjust your seat all the time. So I have to put myself much, much lower so that I can have this kind of movement. <laughs> better because my arm is much more parallel to the floor so I don't have this position anymore but I'm like this more normal just because I sit lower really if you are sore very important warm water and rest and if it doesn't go away in a few days then go to a doctor and check it very often though it's a muscular problem that you can solve by having a really good position use your brain always try to be as more neutral as possible relax the shoulders relax the jaw and play from the fingers don't engage anything else these are the same old rules for hard playing be careful adjust your seat don't play impossible pieces and i'll see you in my next video ciao thank you for subscribing like